into Milan hide me with the goal to win the Champions League. And season three might just be that season. We switch formation and we sign Bakayo Saka from Arsenal for 153 million. We have 108 million left to spend and we need to make two more signings. The reason we went from a three back to a four back with a 4-3-3 is because last season we conceded goal after goal after goal. And so far it's great. Our first two games in the league we win and we don't concede any goals. With Cristiano Ronaldo retiring last season, we needed someone to come in to replace him. So we went for Bakayo Saka. Can he score 41 goals in a season? Perhaps. I reckon he will get close to 30, but him and Martinez really should be the majority of the goals this season. We currently have DeMarco playing at left wing, which means we need a left back. Or we could play DeMarco at left back, which means we need a new left winger, which you guys really did prefer that option. We have Son on the transfer list, who would cost between 30 and 40 million. Definitely affordable, but guys, Look, his pace is 78. I don't know why. Martinelli, great option, but we can't afford him. And Marcus Rashford, who I did mention last episode, I thought it'd be higher than 85, and you guys really did like this option. We can get him between 70 and 80 million. 85 overall, but check out them stats. He's got 90 pace, good dribbling, good shooting. He'd be a great player. But guys, check out this. If we go to Roma's squad, they've made some big signings. Neymar has signed from Al Halal to join Roma. The same as Mo Salah, who we can now take off the shortlist. He's come back to Roma. But the most shocking one is that they've actually signed Florian Vats. I don't know when this guy joined, but Roma are backing Jose, unlike IRL, and they could really be challenging us this season. So we don't just need a new left winger. Because we now play wingers, we actually don't have any backups. If I try and play anyone there, look, we've got this guy, who's a center forward. Yes, we could perhaps play him out wide. We'd work better on the right. We need a backup winger to sign. And a player around 20 million or maybe less. Mudrick from Chelsea, 24. We don't know his rating. He'd be a fantastic player to sign and to rotate. We have this guy at Wolverhampton. Neumar, that's how you say his name. We have Forbes, who's at Ajax. Three players who would be great to sign, but we don't know their overall at all. But before we sign a backup winger, I think we should just sign Marcus Rashford. Get the main signing done. Let's try and do this as cheap as possible. Let's go in with 78 million and a 15% signing clause. And they say yes. Boom. Actually, I think I just overpaid. It was between 70 and 80. He wants a sporadic squad. Bro, what? Five-year deal. Don't tell me he's going to have one of them gap years this season. And then score one goal and be doing this or that. Okay, you'll be getting a pay decrease coming here to Inner Milan. 150k a week. He says yes. Have we signed a brand? Have have we signed a Manchester United ego, a dressing room Sarah, or a footballer? I hope it's the latter. 78 million. They're definitely not going to rank this highly. A C. Okay, it's not awful. Boom, there he is in the squad. We can now put him all the way up to left winger. And we might as well just move DeMarco up to a left wing back as well. You know what? This is a rather cool looking formation, isn't it? It is just a 4-3-3. After signing Marcus Rashford, we actually need to meet him. So I bring him to my office and I say, Marcus, welcome to Inner Milan. Thanks, boss. It's great to be here and I'm excited for the new challenge. Good stuff. That's fantastic to hear. At Inner, you have to work very hard though. No one's bigger than the club here and you have to fight for your position. Yes, boss, I understand. I have heard that from other people about Inner and that must be why you guys are so good. It is deadline day. We have 10 hours to go and we still need to make another signing. The money we have left is 23 million. You guys know that we need a winger. I am actually really interested in Mudrick. I think this guy will be very good on the left. Question is, can we get him under 20 million though? How about 18? Are they just going to straight up walk out? Yep, they do. There's this guy at Newcastle. He starts off at 69 overall. So if we go in with 11 million, they might just straight up say yes. And they don't. They walk out. We've done it again. To be fair, I'm pretty stuck on who to go in for. We're going in for a Southampton player at this point. Please just don't walk out. 17 million. We're panicking at this point. They don't straight up walk out. So I'm getting guessing he's going to be worth probably 20. Leaves us with three and a half million. They want 25. Wow. Look, we can do a swap deal of Esposito plus 14 million and they stole it. They've come back with 24 million. Why didn't you just tell me at the time? The other Esposito plus 19.4 million. We cannot afford this guy. They're having a laugh. I give up. We're going over the window. You guys get in the comments. January will be open next episode. Now that the transfer window is wrapped up, I have a press conference to attend. Please, first question. HRS, are you happy with signing Rashford? Will he be a success? 
Very happy with the signing. That's why we signed it. I think he will be a success here. I'll make sure of that. He also needs to work hard. But I think I can get the best out of him on that left-hand side. I really do. Go ahead, please. What are your thoughts on Jose's transfer window at Roma? He made some massive signings. He did make some massive signings. The board clearly backed him. I think they're going to do well this season in the league, the Champions League. But we're better. You've seen how good our defense is and going forward. So they have nothing on us. Go ahead. Last question, please. Staying on Roma, how will you do against them in the next match? As I just said, they have nothing on us. Defensively, we're strong. Going forward, we're very good. I reckon we're going to demolish them in this game. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. We have Marcus Rashford's debut now against AS Roma. Jose Mourinho's AS Roma. Jao Felix could be in trouble here. That is a very bad challenge. Okay, I skipped over it. It was the red card. Of course I had to skip over it. Oh, man. Here's Casemiro. He's going to get his foot through. He hits it. Why a goal. So Roma are down to 10 men. This is a massive advantage. That's a big header there. Is Martinez on the ball. He's got absolutely no support to him. We'll go to the left to Saka. He scored on his debut last game. Kind of took it home from here. Saka, what a goal! One nail into the land. That's the best start possible. Them going down to 10 men. And an early goal for us. Fantastic stuff from Saka. Again, we're getting forward and just not many people supporting. We are yet to concede in this formation. Our record against Roma is not good in this series. They always manage to score against us. Is Chao Oglu. Now Saka is going to use Hakimi out wide. Hakimi back to Saka. On that left foot goes to Ben. Whoa, what a goal! Incredible! What a signing! Worth every penny. 153 million. This is what 150 million looks like. Look at that goal. Salah type goal. And he's probably on the other side watching that go in. We are all over Roma at this point. Barella is gone for a long one there. I thought that went in. So Saka has scored a brace. He's on a hat trick. Can he get it? It goes out wide there for Martinez. Martinez down the box. Can he make the pass? I guess that was good defense. Tell you what, we have a lot of possession with this formation as well. There's not a chance we don't win the treble this season. I'm just feeling it. We're all over every opposition. Here's Marcus Rashford on the left with his EA Sports boots. I don't know why. We're about to approach halftime onto that right foot through the gap. Imagine this. Rashford hits it over the bar. It's not quite Saka. See what he can do in the second half, though. We need support off Martinez. Oh, can I gap there for Rashford to get into? He's going to go back to Martinez. Martinez to Hakan. Hakan over the top to Martinez. I should have done a bicycle kick for his score. It's 3 0. It's Nicola Ferrella with the goal. Jose's Roma down to 10 men, and they're getting absolutely demolished here. Saka short from the corner. This guy's going to be incredible this season. Can we find a shooting gap from here? Yes, we can. Another save. Wow, what a squad we have built. DeMarco makes a pass by Stoney. Now Martinez. Now Saka. Saka chips the keeper. But the keeper didn't fall for that. Saka still wants to achieve the hat trick. He plays in Martinez. We've got a Rashford back post in a very good position. Whipped in. Marcus Rashford on his debut. He scored a goal. Oh, no. It's, it's going to do this. Fair enough. It was a good goal. We will make sure there'll be no gap season. We've now got the 45-minute replay to watch. And that was not an easy goal. He had to time that very well. Oh, what a tackle against Miro. Martinez. Oh, look at this. It might be five. Martinez! It's five now. Jose has been demolished. He posted that picture of him with the treble. And I said, I want to do that. This season, we are going to do that. So after that game, I just tweeted these two pictures tagging Jose. Jose Mourinho. He sure isn't going to like that. The scout reports are in for these players. Now, Sulemana would have been around 25 million. This guy would have been around 45. 45 for this guy as well. We could actually afford it this player right here. How on earth did that not happen? And Madrid would have been 40 million as well. We were really offering half the value, weren't we? We now have Adlana at home. It's a 3 0 win. Martinez with a brace, and Saka. This is our group stage, by the way. Sporting, Ajax, and Osasuna. Congratulations to them. But yeah, that's a, that's a very easy group. And we kick things off against Ajax. It is at the famous San Siro. Nelly on. Here's Saka. Oh, he's completely done the player there. What a save. That would have been a goal. We have a penalty here. But Ajax is going to miss it. We're going to go to the right. Okay, okay, okay. Didn't Onana used to play for Ajax? Here comes Casemiro. Now I've got Chanel Oglu. 
Now Barella. Oh, look at that run there for Saka. So many goals from this guy this nope. season. Oh, what a save. This keeper's on fire. Saka whipped in. Martinez, header into the ground. Another save. Free kick. Hakan. Possibly one of our last opportunities this game to do something. Let's get enough so it goes over the wall. Enough power. There we go. No, you're joking. And that's it. We got a 1-0 loss in our first group stage game. Four games into Serie A. 11 goals scored. Zero conceded. I was right about this defense. To be fair, Verona have only conceded one goal. And that is very good. But I doubt their defense is like ours. The star of the show at the moment seems to be Martinez. In five, he's got four goals, three assists. Every other career mode we've signed him, he's been the out-and-out -out goal scorer. In this career mode, he's been really good at providing goals. And hopefully they're on form in this game because we have the first Milan derby of season three. I was about to mention the zero goals conceded so far. And yeah, it's gone. That, that's the first goal conceded. We're not trying to go the whole season without conceding because that would just be impossible. Oh no, it's 2 nil. Surely not. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, no, no, what are you doing? Get in the way. It, it was useless there. The last time we played them, we know what happened. Oh, look at Rashford. Look at Rashford. Don't bottle it. Get us back in it. Marcus Rashford. There we go. It's 2-1. Good stuff. We're back in it. I love the fact that we have Saka on the road. Right, Rashford on the left. We have players either side that really can do something. What are you doing? That was going to be a goal. Okay, we get the free kick. Here's Pavard. Now I've got Saka out wide. Got Rashford in behind. Now we'll go back to Hakimi. Now through the gap. Martinez, nope. what a tackle. It's the same guy as well. Well, now we have a penalty. Who is the best penalty taker? Marcus Rashford. Oh, dear. Okay. Fair enough. We're going to smash this to the right. Keeper's not stopping this. There we go. It's level. It's a double for Marcus Rashford. We're level. It's 2-2. Two -two. You're joking. You're having a laugh. He's going to the left. He goes down the middle. What a fraud. Go and smile. Italian man is a smile merchant and he scores 10 goals every time we play him. Oh, no, 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 yeah. you're joking. He's done it again. He's grinning on me. Get out. You're having a laugh. Our first defeat of the season. Okay, at least we get a 2 0 win there. Sucker with a brace. The long you're away. It's a 4 0 win. We're absolutely smashing it. You've probably noticed, but Silver's kind of been dropped because Pavard's now 86. And I'd rather play someone with 91 defending than Silver with 88, which is still very good. But but here's more mobile. I'm pretty sure. I mean, 71 play pace plus six for Pavard. That's very good. But this formation is just absolutely perfect for this side. The dynamic of this side, every position just works perfectly. We are still yet to win in the Champions League, though. We lost our first game, so we have sporting away here. It's very important we win. Here's Saka out wide. I'm just going to switch this. Why not? Rashford, are you there? It's a nice touch. Look at that overlap there from DeMarco. Now back to Rashford. Now a nice pass there. Rashford, you should have made that overlapping run. Here's Hakimi. They can't get near us. We're going to be all over them. Here's Martinez. Turns his man. He pulls it back. Looking for Saka. Saka doing the same. Oh, that's a free kick. Possibly a penalty. I don't know, but they can't get anywhere near us. It's a penalty. Do you know what? We're going to Penanka the keep. He's going to be a fraud and dive the wrong way. There we go. One now. Oh, wow. The throat. Don't get chipped again. Way! No, you're joking. He's been knocked out by the post, surely. He ran straight into it. I swear, if I get chipped once more by the AI, I'm going to be fuming. Here comes Saka. He's going to chip the keeper. There we go. If you're going to chip me, game, I'm going to make sure I chip you. And that's it. That's our first win in the group. Solid 2 now. After seven games, we have lost one, one six, and we're one point behind top of the league, Napoli. They've scored more goals than us. We've conceded less. Half, actually, but look at that side. Every time we play them, they put up a fight. It's a very good squad. Ozzy men up front, Kevara on the left. They don't quite do what Rafael Leal does. I don't want to think about that, but they do manage to do a very good job. I'm going to make a change at the back. Silva's going to come in. I would like to make another change for the sake of it, but there's no point. Of course, like, oh, no, no, no. Nice save, O'Nan. Aussie man, he's already got going. Ratchford's getting in the box. And that's a great tackle. Kim Min Jae is back at Napoli. How? What a tackle, Casemiro. Here is Saka. He's going to put that out wide for Rashford. He takes it down. Dinks it up there. 
Martinez, he couldn't get on it. Oh, look at this passing. Beautiful football. Beautiful stuff. That is what this formation is all about. Now we've lost the ball. We will get it back any second. Nope. Look at that tackle, Hakimi. Look at that run there, Marcus Rashford. Here he is. Marcus Rashford! Top corner! 1-0! Boom, boom, boom! Oh, another tackle there, Hakimi. Hakimi is really... Improving in defense. Rashford, the goal scorer. Also on a yellow card. You don't want to see the challenge. It was just dreadful. Oh, nice tackle there. Casemiro. An unusual one. Is Barella coming forward? He's not really a cam, is he? Is that Casemiro back post? Casemiro. Oh, I wish it wasn't. Another block Bastoni. What a defender, man. Here they come again. Silver. Another block. Solid defense. It's a wall. Almas on the ball. Turns it back. Now Kevada plays it out. Chilwell. Oh, no. No, no, no. Why? Why? You don't expect a left back to shoot with the right foot. This guy lives on the bench. But a team that endeavors to get top half of the table. That, that would be a success. Barella out wide there to Hakimi. Look at that over the top for Saka. Can we get it to him? That just wasn't the right thing to do, was it? No, no. Ossiman, Victor Ossiman, what a save by the keeper. Another save. Saka, win us this game, please. They've got many men back. He's gone around number 28. Bakary Saka, the big new signing, running down the wing. Can he do it? He's going to pull it back. He's going to make the pass. It's Martinez on the block. Put an end to it, Bastoni in behind there. It's Victor Ossiman. It switched off. Why did it happen? One minute added on. We're now two minutes over. And we get a point. We really should have won that game. And boom. A 3-0 win. Saka with a break to Martinez. We now have Osasuna. Third game in the group. And we're going to use our rotation squad. Yes, that is how good it is. Three seasons in. Normally in a career mode, it is a lot better than that. But I trust it. Don't lose. We win 2-1. Just about. Tarum and Guler. His first goal. Back to Serie A. A 3-1 win. A Marcus. Rashford breaks. Oh, wow. We have a player that has won the Ballon d'Or. It's Lautaro Martinez. Okay. It would have been Cristiano Ronaldo if he hadn't a retired. That's what I'm thinking. Imagine Ronaldo winning the Ballon d'Or at 40 or 41. However odd he is. Congratulations to Lautaro Martinez. Hopefully he can score this game. He doesn't. Saka and Rashford. Two great signings. And another win here. We're on an absolute roll. Saka scoring. When it comes to goals, 12 for Saka. Eight for Rashford. Seven goals, four assists for Martinez. They're all having a very good season. But back to the Champions League now. We have Osasuna. We need another win in the group. Saka. Oh, look at that ball there to Hakimi. He's got forward. He's through. Has he got the bottle? Has he got the finish? No, he hasn't. Rebound, though. Ooh, that would have been very hard to get in, to be fair. Corner. Goes to edge of box. Here's Marcus Rashford. No, he's going to lose it if he does that. Here's Chan Loglu. Oh, what a gap. Opportunity for Saka. Easy stop. Will we get a first half goal? Ball over the top. Martinez through the gap. Shoots. Oh, what a goal. The Ballon d'Or winner. That's why he won it. Ladara Martinez strikes for the first. Osasuna. Want that equaliser. Not getting past this defence, though. How's that a foul? Why is Marcus Rashford always at left back as they attack? This isn't going in. Douglas Louise. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, you just need to get it in. It was off target. If you want to score, it's got to be better than that. If you want to score, it's got to be better than that. Yeah. What a save. Hakimi coming forward over the top. Lattaro Martinez. Oh, it's got in. What a dodgy goal, but we'll take it. 2-0. That should be the three points. Genoa now in the league. And we drop points. You're joking. After 13, we are above Napoli, but only by two points. Fiorentina now. I once called them Feyenoord a couple of episodes ago. I don't know why. Martinez, Rashford, and Martinez again. You guys must think my bond knowledge is zero. We have a side chasing us. It's sporting. You guys said last season Ronaldo shouldn't have retired and he should have joined sport. Imagine. We'd right now be playing Ronaldo in the group stage. And at 41, you guys know he'd still have it. Well, this could be another goal for Saka or for Rashford. What we're going to do? Yeah, just Saka. Tucks it home. No need to pass it. It's too good. You know he's going to score. Here's Chan Oglu. Now Saka. The ball control. His way of manipulating the ball is just amazing. What a save. Sporting. Still only one goal away. What a block. He predicted that. Now, Saka. What a game he's been having so far. Look at him go. Look at the pace. He just goes around defenders so easily. 
is going to hit this one for Rage over the bar. Not quite sure who number 22 is, to be fair. He's making a nice run there. Saka again over the top for Turam. Is he going to get that? Defenders do. And that is the win. 1 0. Back to Serie A. Playing Spurs here. And it's a 2 0 win. Casemiro and Rashford. It's the Man United show. Now Sassuolo away. 2 1 win. Martinez and Rashford. Uh, to be fair, Rashford's doing better than I thought he would. Saka of 13. Martinez 12. Rashford 11. One assist in 18. Our last game in the group stage is Ajax. What is going to happen here in the Champions League? Bro. They win 3 2. Oh, wow. Did we get top of the group? After losing that game, we did. We got 12. The round of 16 has been drawn as well. And we have Leverkusen, which no disrespect to them. In fact, I can't even say that's a good draw because they've got a very, very good side. I think Dortmund probably would be an easier draw. But guys, we're days away from the January window opening. We have 23 million and we need a backup winger. Who do we go in for? Get your suggestions down below. If you enjoy, leave a like, subscribe. Want another video to watch? Then perhaps one of these full movies on the screen now.